everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Today is Wednesday. That means it's Wise Choice Wednesday. Wednesday. Wise <laughs> Choice Wednesday. It's so neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, now that he's out of the way, let's get started. So what is today's item? Today's item is something that I don't have a huge issue with. However, the guy that jumped into the screen, he does. Maybe it's something that you too are looking for a solution for. What is it guys? I'll show you. Here you go. Here you go. My husband loves this every day in this coffee. And I think he enjoys just taking a few swigs of it too. I can't confirm that. However, I can say this. This big, huge bottle, 74 servings. 74 servings per container. And he goes through it in a week's time. But it's the replacement for this item. Well, guys, let me show you. Have you seen this, guys? Yeah. This is a sugar-free version. Now, this sugar-free version tastes delicious. It's great. However, there's still some concerns about it. What are those concerns? Let me get my glasses on. All right. So my dear, lovely Sarah with Pearls of Wisdom has talked about the fact that this carrageenan, I think that's how you pronounce it, or carrageenan, I don't know, however you pronounce it. It's a topic. It's an item of concern. That product is in this bottle here, as well as many of your cottage cheese. It's a thickening agent. Um, it's a thickening and binding agent for, I guess, products that contain milk in them. Uh, Sarah, clue is in. Why should we be so concerned about that product? All right? You seem to know some information about it. All right, along with that, the third ingredient here is Sorbitan Monastery. It's a derivative of Sorbitol. So you know that's an artificial sweetener. And then also, the next thing after the Carina is sucralose. So we have two artificial sweeteners in here that are of concern, but it is better than this, guys. This third ingredient is sugar. The third ingredient on this item is sugar. Yeah, guys, it's one net carb for two tablespoons. When you have this over your can of coffee, are you really doing dot, dot? I don't think so, guys. So if you aren't doing dot, dot, there's a chance that you're using five, six, seven carbs in your coffee with this product. So just be mindful. If you're gonna stick with this, be mindful. It's it. Per serving is two tablespoons. This should have quite a few servings, 74 of two tablespoons. It doesn't go that far in my house. This one, 66 servings. It is zero net carbs though. So it is a better choice than the regular one that contains sugar. So yeah. Right here, guys, heavy whipping cream, sugar-free. I have three Walmarts that are within 10 minutes of my house. Only one of the three is carrying this product. I know Randall's doesn't carry it. I don't know about H-E-B, though. So have you seen it? Are you using it? What's your thoughts on this product? All right, so this is definitely a better choice than this. But honestly, guys, the best one of all of them, you betcha. Make it yourself, guys. For this here, we've got heavy cream, milk, and it does contain that Karinigan, whatever you pronounce it. But it's only three ingredients. So making your own would be a great choice. You know why we don't? Sheer laziness. I'm including myself in that category. So maybe it's something that in order to maintain my husband's health, maybe I should start making it myself. Now, my question to you, do you make it? If you do make it, how do you make it? Whipping it up, I get it. But are you adding anything into it in order to make it stay longer and fresher in the refrigerator? What I'm reading is that it's one to three days. Now, I've made it before to put on something right at that moment, but I've never made it for long-term use. What I'm reading is that at best, one to three days in the refrigerator. So I don't see myself making this 
every day, every morning, every night. I, I just don't see it happening, guys. So, if you know of a way to keep it fresh, let me know, because I don't know. All right, guys? So, in summary, yeah, guys, choice number one, make it fresh at home. Choice number two, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. Choice number two, I do think it's at least a viable solution. It's certainly better than this. And trust me, I see lots of videos with this little can going on because of its one net carb. So guys, that's it for this episode of Wise Choice Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have seen this in your stores, let me know. If you're contemplating doing this, let me know. If you're already doing this, let me know. And again, share with me, number one, how you make it, number two, how you store it, and number three, what's the maximum number of days you've had it last in your refrigerator? Not because of eating, but as far as the viability and the stability of that product. So guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me on this edition of Wise Choice Wednesday. And until we see each other once again, be blessed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. You know why this is so good? That's Bowie. He's barking because...